Gros châtelac, mangez-lui. Gros châtelac, mangez-lui. Gros châtelac, mangez-lui. Si vous. He's screaming outside, and a lot of people obviously breathing. And Pepper France has been clearly overwhelmed. Uh, it's just the devastating. The devastation just... caused by the earthquake is extremely There were dead scary. bodies. And for their missing relatives. There's no power. Very, very dark. At this very moment, one of the largest relief efforts in our recent history is moving towards Haiti. They need to know if they're going to have food and, and water in, in, the, in the coming hours. I think there are teams arriving from China, from the United States, with more on the way from France, and the American Republic and elsewhere. We really need to get those teams in there before it's too late. And as you know, in these situations, every hour counts. I'm very sad because uh, my country is in great difficulty. But I'm very happy also to see how the, the world is with us, is helping us. Thank you very much for the help. Thank you for this. Solidarity. If people are beginning to need the kind of emergency aid we will want to provide them in terms of shelter, food, clean water, sanitation. United Nations has been playing a primary coordinating role. There are a steady stream of planes coming here at the airport. They've got relief supplies. They're coming from all over the world, from Belgium, from Brazil, from Miami, from Spain, from Iceland, just about any place you can imagine. They are not violent people, violent people. They are normal people, but they are uh, despair. They, they, they want to eat. Finally, a day for Haiti to grieve, to break from the constant daily struggle to just survive. It's become almost a cliche to talk about the, the strength and resilience of the Haitian people, but, but some cliches are true. There's been an overwhelming global response. But of course, there's so much more to be done. I'm quite sure that the country will need all the help we can get.